AWS new flagship generative AI service, Amazon Bedrock, is still in preview. I have been trying to get access to it for the last two months, but in vain, because AWS is saying that mostly that service is available for US customers at the moment, but I'm still waiting. Well, the interesting thing is that while this Amazon Bedrock is still in preview, AWS keeps adding really good features on top of it, and they have been posting about it in their blog posts and articles on their websites. So unfortunately, I cannot show you the working demo, but at least I can introduce you to a new feature of Amazon Bedrock, which is Amazon Bedrock Agents, which is, I believe, is going to change the way companies are going to interact with all these foundation models. Just to reiterate, the purpose of AWS Bedrock services that it enables you to make API calls to various publicly available or externally available foundation models. These foundation models are from various companies like AI21 Labs, Anthropic, Cohere, Stability, AI, and various others. So all you need to do is to write a Lambda function or a program or even from your application. By using Amazon Bedrock service, you make API calls to these foundation models and use it. You can use them for text to text translation or summarization, classification, or various other generative AI tasks. Now, with AWS Bedrock agents, AWS has taken it one step ahead. Agents for Amazon Bedrock or Amazon Bedrock agents enable you to integrate Amazon Bedrock service with your own company's applications. So what happens is that you deploy and schedule these agents in Amazon Bedrock and point these agents to your company's applications. Those company's applications could be Lambda or anything. What happens at very high level is this. That your application has some sort of logic which is specific to your industry or your company. Agents for Amazon Bedrock make an API call to your application which instruct it to do a specific task in a certain way with the help of generative AI. Agent take that task and instructions as how to do it in JSON format and feed it into Amazon Bedrock. Amazon Bedrock then does the heavy lifting and make API call tailored to what you suggested through these agents to these foundation models and then give you the result. This is how it works. Now let me show you some of the screenshots as how to get started with these agent for Amazon Bedrock and I have taken these images from AWS own blog and I will definitely paste the link to that blog in video's description because there are uh, also good detail too in that document. So in order to get started with these agents, first you need to go to Amazon Bedrock's service um, and as I mentioned earlier, it is still in preview so you might not be able to see it but still we can play around with it. Uh, once you are there, all you need to do is to click on create agent. Once you click on create agent, you will be presented with this screen where um, you need to give agent name and then agent description. And make sure to make it as descriptive as possible. And then you need to um, just select an IAM role and stuff, which could be just a default one or um, for the Amazon Bedrock. Once you are there, then you need to select your model and how do you select a model? I have a different um, specific separate video on it, um, which I'll paste the link in video's description as how can you select a model? And that's a generic guideline for any other requirement too. Once you have selected your model, then this is where the most of the work is done on this screen. First, you just uh, create an action group name. <clears throat> action group is just simply a collection of tasks which your uh, Amazon agent for Bedrock performs. And then in the description, make it as descriptive as possible as what exactly you are looking this agent to do. For instance, in this example from AWS, we are going to perform actions for listing claims, identifying missing paperwork, sending reminders. And then select your Lambda function. This Lambda function is basically your application. And then in the S3 bucket, you need to upload this JSON file, which is um, a, an open API 
format for your application. And um, there's a detailed example on that blog post, which I'll put the link in description where you can go into the detail. It's a very simple thing. Okay, so once you have specified your name and your application, which is the Lambda function, and then uh, your uh, JSON file for API specification, then all you need to do is simply re review your information and then click on create agent. Once you will create it, agent will be ready straight, and then all you need to do is to deploy it and use it. So this is how no, um, this will be uh, working once you deploy the agent and integrate it with Amazon Petrock. Now coming uh, back to our diagram, you can see the flow. Uh, on one side, Amazon Bedrock is doing all the heavy lifting of interacting with your LLM or foundation model, whereas on the left hand side, this agent is interacting with your application. So this is bringing your application closer to the foundation model and masking a lot of detail from you. Once this is available to me, uh, whether in preview or through the general availability, I will make another video to show you end to end process with an example how to implement and then run these agents. I hope that you found it useful. If you have any question, please put it um, in the comment section. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.